it is necessary for us to do staff rationalization so that we can now, and this should be done after six months, so that we can now, who remained with the national government, who went, and are they excess or are they less? Staff rationalization according to TA does not mean that you rationalize by cutting those who are excess. We say those who are excess can be taken elsewhere where you have a deficit. And that was agreed very well. But when you come on the ground, uh, and I'm sorry to say this, uh, Mr. Chairman, the governors have gone their own way. Every governor has decided, well, I'm going, and they use la a very rough language. They say, I'm sucking off these people, I'm returning these people to the government. They are causing a lot of dismay in the, in the ranks of workers. And that's why you saw probably, or heard, that I issued as TA the HR advisory on Thursday to see how rationally things should be done. There is a little confusion with Section 130 mm -hmm. of the County Government Act mm -hmm. about secondment. And because of that confusion, that all staff working in the county at the time the county government coming this will be assumed to be uh, seconded. Uh, there is um, a uh, what do you call it, corrigendum, or in the, uh, I don't know, in what part we did in the, uh, in the, in the uh, uh, Coordination Act, let me just call it the Coordination Act. We actually amended that section and they provided for more than one section so that it was able, it distinguished the national government staff working in the county and the national staff who move to the county as devolved staff. So the assumption is that the, assum the assumption is the assumption is that anybody who moves with the function translates into a county staff, whether they are local government or whether they are from national government. Therefore, the issue of secondment does not arise. So for me, the standing position is the two governments agreed, the two levels of government agreed to carry out a programmed rationalization program. They agreed it will be done at the same time, and they agreed that it will be done using similar terms. So that no level of staff will begin to think if those people are being favored or these ones are not being favored. It would be a uniform rationalization carried out under one umbrella. But governors have gone their own way. For us, on our part, yes, the Act says we shall carry out an audit. And we started. We have already uh, asked, uh, or we have already launched the audits in the counties. I believe by now, and then Baka should tell me, the results should be out. They, it delayed a bit. By now we should be having the results, but it took off slowly because there were no resources. And by the way, that's where you should give us enough resources so that we're able to carry out our work in time. Uh, and I know it's not your fault, Mr. Chairman, but you can speak for us. So that exercise is going on. But you see, it's going audit on. Of, audit, of, hmm? audit of what? Audit of staff, of staff okay. in the counties. Is going on. I think it's, in most of them it's complete. But you see, it is going on, Sambamba, with these threats of uh, different governors. Uh, threatening. So there's some sort of a chaos uh, in mind, the minds of workers.